Shalom Israel, all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakhah Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings to your sincere Akim out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. All right, the elect. You know, now is the time for us to lock in and really go over uh, the entire book. You know, because you have a lot of new people inquiring about uh, the scriptures and inquiring about the breakdowns. And, you know, it's important for us to be fluent in the basics. You know, the milk is very important. So I just wanted to jump into Second Edges uh, 11. Just a couple of verses. Uh, just, just off the fact that um, Gladiator 2 is coming out. And it looks 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 damn better than the first one. I ain't gonna hold you, but um, basically the scriptures give you know you have to kind of know about the Roman Empire. Because the uh, subject of the Roman Empire comes up of, through Edris, and it comes up through Daniel. Yeah, you know, you have to understand who the dragon is. And then that will point towards who the dragon is now. All right, because it says what? The deadly beast, his, 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 his wound was healed. That's talking about the Roman Empire reincarnated into this empire. All right, and then you could clearly see, you know, dark-skinned men were in there. You know, Jake was in there, which you had a, you had a, I think I saw one Jake in the first one. You know, the, the other uh, uh, Maximus's friend. You know, the guy who made the uh, the uh, bandage for him. But uh, without further ado, this is 2nd Edges 11. And, and this is 2nd Edges 11 and 32. But this head put the whole earth in fear and bear rule in it over all those that dwelt upon the earth, which much oppression. And it had the governance of the world more than all the wings that had been. You know, and this is the basically the final dynasty of the pagan Roman Empire. Uh, I was talking about uh, the Vespasian dynasty uh, with his sons, the uh, Titus and Domitian. This is the, the the this was the final leg of Rome. You know the final uh, final Caesar basically. Final three, you know, final three because the, the next two they don't really get long at all. You know, like we always talk about Trump being Nero, but uh. Shit. After Nero got taken down earlier, you know, because the Vespasians, this is a whole nother dynasty than uh, was it the, the Julio Augustan dynasty? All of those other previous seasons before them. You know, the, with uh, Nero, I believe Nero being the last of that dynasty, the last Caesar of that dynasty, right? You know, but this is America. This is a different empire. But I'm just, you know, making comparisons. And then civil war happening after Nero uh, being dead. You know, Vespasian being a, a general in that war for Nero. And then this is Vespasian and his sons, which are, the, the, are at the last leg of the first leg of the Roman Empire. Because right? you have the pagan Roman Empire and then you have the Holy Roman Empire. All right, and basically, this is going into how he was uh, heavily taxing them. I'm going to read verse 32 again. But, his, but this head put the whole empire in, in fear and bear rule in it over all those that dwelt upon the earth with much oppression. And it had the governess of the world more than all the wings that had been. And that's what uh, Vespasian was about. Heavy taxation. 
Taxes, taxes, taxes. Right, like you look now, that's basically what's going on. It's, it's a it's a bubble in a bunch of different markets. Um, of course, the housing market. A lot of property taxes are going up. Rates are going up. You know, if you got a variable interest rate, you you know, may the Lord may the Lord bless the elect. All right, this is verse thirty three. It says, and after this, I beheld and lo. The head that was in the midst suddenly appeared no more like as the wings. Right, so Vespasian, he dies. Right, verse 34, but there remained the two heads which also in the sort and like sort ruled upon the earth and over those that dwelt therein. Right, and Titus was next. You know, because after, you know, you had 10 years of stability, basically that heavily, heavy, heavy taxation uh, put on Rome, which is what they want to try to do now because the debt has gotten crazy. But, you know, World War Three is here. <laughs> so, you know, these are these are two different empires. You know, Jake took over the Roman Empire, this empire. Is going to this place is gonna to have to burn, and then we're gonna, you know, return back over to our land. So is you know is Trump Nero is is uh, is Biden uh, Vespasian? Yeah, Biden kind of frail. Let me see. This is uh, verse thirty-five. And I beheld and lo, the head upon the right side devoured it that was upon the left side. Yeah, because uh, when you go up a couple of verses, it talks about the three heads which represent Vespasian and his sons. And and uh, the, basically the mission kills him. His brother kills him, killed by his own brother. Then I heard a voice which said unto me, Look before thee and consider the thing that thou seest. And I beheld, and lo, as it were a roaring lion chased out of the wood. And I saw that he sent out a man's voice unto the eagle and said. And when you're jumping, it goes into it on verse 12. But you got to jump. I got the scriptures right here. You got to jump to verse 27. This is 2nd Ezra 12 or 27. For the two that remain shall be slain with the sword. For the sword of the one shall devour the other. And at the last shall he fall through the sword himself. Right, so Domitian kills Titus, and then Domitian is killed. And then after that, you have the, the uh, so-called five good emperors. That's the end of the Roman Empire. And now Jake starts to get back into rulership. Uh, when you jump to Gladiator, like we were talking about earlier, you know, goes into Marcus Aurelius, then Commodus, but then Commodus, he gets killed. And then, um, or rather, he gets assassinated uh, because he was actually in, in plots to assassinate others. And uh, you, had, you had a couple of Caesars later, you, you get uh, Septimius Severus. And this is basically the second century. You know, Yahweh Shai has been uh, gone for for about about two hundred years. Excuse me, about about a hundred years. When Septimius Severus is 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 become Caesar, that's the end of the second century. So it's about two hundred years. And then Gladiator two, these are his two sons. 
who who were both uh, seizure at the same time. And all of these men, from Marcus Aurelius, you know, even from Nerva, and all the way to Septimius Severus, they should be dark skinned. Septimius Severus even tells you he was from what's known what's modern day Libya, because Rome had um, North Africa a part of their empire, right? Which Esau, you know, clearly leaves out in all of his movies. They're not going to put that. You know, but now they are. You know, now they're trying to retell history. But the cover and cast has been lifted. You know, with the scriptures being the, the tip of the sword in this battle. Yeah, you guys have lied for a long time. Just like you lied then. And the Lord took you down. Matter of fact, I want to end it with, uh, let's jump back to Second Edges 11. And let's see what happens to this uh, this empire. Let's see what, what what wraps up the Roman Empire, and if there's any uh, continuity. Second Edges eleven and. Thirty-nine, Are not thou it that remainest of the four beasts whom I made to reign in, in my world that the end of their times might come through them? All right, remember the four beasts from, from the vision of Daniel? And the fourth came and overcame all the beasts that were passed and had power over the world with great fearfulness and over the, the whole compass of the earth with much wicked oppression and so long time dwelt he upon the earth with deceit. For the earth has not, has thou not judged with truth. And they didn't judge the earth with truth then and they don't judge the earth with truth now. This is the Roman Empire reincarnated. For thou has afflicted the meek, thou has hurt the peaceable, thou has loved liars and destroyed the dwellings of them that brought forth fruit and has cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm. Therefore is thy wrongful dealing coming up unto the highest and thy pride unto the mighty. The highest also hath looked upon the proud times and behold, they are ended and his abominations are fulfilled. Right, and this place is 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 uh, Rome on steroids, because this empire is global. This is the entire Earth, and the scriptures say what they they come to see, uh, take peace away from the Earth. See, back then the Romans they only ruled from what Britannia to mm, kind of dipping over into the Middle East, you know, Jerusalem. Um, they they kind of, they uh, kind of went through Arabia a little bit, yep, yep, even yep, they had Babylon. Yep, so and this time the empire is global. It's not just one little area, you know, in the in the known quote unquote world. You know, this was the hey, this is they were prophesied to rule over the, the whole earth. The whole world. You know, sometimes they say the earth and then sometimes they say the world. This was the known world at that point. Right now, we're on the whole other side of the world and they're ruling over the earth. And yes, there are multiple definitions for the word world. Mm, I think that's the point, though. Uh, Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm going to keep trying to go into these little history pieces. 
just to refresh uh, brothers' memories. If you want to put up a couple of scriptures, or, 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 or follow along with me. Shalom.